So by this point, you have a circle with a radius of 2 and a point Q that travels around that circle based on an angle A. Q should be able to spin around the circle up to two times. Now before we go any further, let me remind you that in these videos, I'm creating a similar model, but my model has a radius of 1. Yours should have a radius of 2, so there will be some slight differences. In this video, I want to create a point R that always has the same height as Q, right? R travels up and down with Q to form a right, to help form a right triangle. So I'm going to start by clicking over here, and I want point R to always be on the Y axis. So I start off with zero, and the height of R always matches the height of Q. And what was the height of Q? Well, in my case, the height of Q is just the sine of A. So this point, let's call it R, will also have the height of the sine of A. And now, as I toggle A, let's just check it. R should always match the height of Q. And there we go.